When you're working with 360 extra rectangular footage in Premiere Pro and After Effects, it's important to note that there's specific VR effects that have been specially made to be compatible with those footage types. If we navigate to the effects panel in Premiere Pro under video effects, you can scroll down, you're gonna see immersive video, and then under there, you're gonna see a host of VR effects. If an effect has VR at the beginning of its title, you'll know that effect is specifically designed for 360 extra rectangular footage. All these effects are seamless, and that's gonna ensure you don't get any seam lines at the back, top, or bottom of your video. Let's go ahead and do a quick demonstration to see what this looks like. I'm gonna apply a Gaussian blur to my 360 footage. So I'm just gonna to navigate to blur, and I'm gonna select Gaussian blur, and apply that to this 360 shot that I have. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna increase the blurriness. Now let's jump over here and toggle the VR video display, and we're gonna look at this shot in 360 now. So I can click and drag around, and because we're not using a VR aware effect, you're gonna see we get this unwanted seam line and a little bit of fringing at the top and at the bottom of our video. You can see how this kind of pulls everything together. And that's because this effect is not designed to work with 360 footage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and exit the toggle VR video display, and I'm gonna go ahead and select that Gaussian blur and delete it. Now let's go ahead and scroll back down over here in our effects panel, and I'm gonna select the VR blur. This is a very similar effect, but designed for 360 extra rectangular footage. I'm gonna drop that on my clip, and now we can see the VR blur. I'm just gonna come over here and increase the blurriness. Now let's come over here and let's toggle the VR video display. And now I'm gonna move and look around my footage, and you can see there are no seams at the back of our video, and the top and bottom areas look correct. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the toggle VR video display. You'll also notice that we have an option here for frame layout. So you can select from monoscopic or stereoscopic over under formats. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the VR blur effect. Now there are four pretty standard VR effects and then four filter type effects. Let's go ahead and go through each of those. So as we just saw the VR blur, next we have VR denoise, and that just allows you to denoise any footage you have that might be shot in low light or might just be in a little bit noisier type scenario. Then we have the VR glow, that's gonna work very similarly to the standard glow effect, but again, it has been formatted to work with 360 X rectangular footage and ensure that it is seamless. And then finally, we have VR sharpen. Again, that works just like a standard sharpen effect that has been designed for 360 footage. Now, the four filter effects are, we have the VR chromatic aberrations. I'm gonna actually select that now and apply that to this footage. And now we can see our 360 footage has a little bit of chromatic aberrations occurring. If we actually jump over here into the toggle VR video display, we can see this a lot easier in 360. So you can see how it's actually affecting our clip. You can dial in the various settings here to make adjustments as you need. And you can keyframe all of these as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the VR chromatic aberrations. Next we have the VR color gradients. So I'm actually gonna apply this to my footage. And if we exit out of the toggle VR video display, we can see we can use up to eight different colors seamlessly on our acre rectangular shot, and we can adjust the number of points. And then we can come down here to the points, we can actually select colors for each one of those points if we would like. This is a nice way you can add kind of a two color filter to your shot. I'm gonna change this to two. And again, you can reposition those points as needed, as you can see here. And then actually I'm gonna come down here to the bottom, and I'm gonna change the blending mode. I'll change this to a screen. And you can see how that reflects now on our 360 footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the VR color gradients effect. Next we have VR digital glitch. I'll apply this to our shot. And this is gonna apply some digital glitching to our 360 footage. And again, we have some parameters over here that we can adjust. And let's go ahead and toggle the VR video display. And now we can actually see this in 360. This is a nice effect you can use for transitions or if you just wanna add some digital glitching to a particular shot. But again, this is also seamless because it has been formatted to work with 360 footage. I'm gonna exit out of the toggle VR video display, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete the VR digital glitch effect. Finally, we have the VR fractal noise effect. I'm gonna select that and apply it to my 360 shot. And you can see how this creates some fractal noise that you may be used to from the fractal noise effect. But again, this has been formatted for 360 footage, so it will be seamless. We can jump into the toggle VR video display and take a look around at this particular shot. And again, we have a host of options over here that we can adjust, and we can also adjust the blending mode if we need to. I'm gonna set this to screen just so we can kind of see through this. And you can see how this kind of emulates some fog 
or something like that on our 360 shot. All of these VR effects are also available in After Effects. You can see under Immersive Video, and you can go ahead and apply any of these effects in here as well. So I'm just going to apply the VR Chromatic Aberrations to this 360 shot. And then again, if we come over here to the effects controls, you'll see we have those same effect options available to us here in After Effects.